what's your response mechanism to a Fed that signals 50 basis points of a rate cut? Is it basically just extrapolating out about 150 basis points of cuts this year and that essentially that's going to be questionable for risk assets? Or do you say this is supportive because this means that they're going to adjust quickly back to something that the market thinks is more neutral? Yeah, you know, we had we had that debate yesterday. And I think it's it's a tough one. Uh, you know, typically when the Fed cuts 50, they're cutting 50 because there's a, a growing excel deceleration in the economic data. This is a tricky period because you obviously have a lot of focus on the labor markets and the labor market deceleration as being the leading indicator. It's not really a leading indicator. It's kind of coincident. Some measures are lagging. You know, the rest of the economy looks strong, but there's this fear that the Fed is behind the curve and that the rest of the slowdown is coming and the rise in terms of kind of hard landing uh, fears. And so 50 might, you know, kind of push people along that direction. So it's more negative rather than the Fed's kind of on the job. It's, uh oh, the Fed's behind the curve. The 50 basis points validates our fear. And then you have all the other issues in, in terms of, you know, risks, high valuations, concentration in terms of, of uh, valuation in the tech sector, all kind of leading to a lot of angst. And then even what we saw last month, uh, you know, in terms of the outsized market reaction, positioning October, not in October, I'm talking about August 2nd and August 5th. So I think the risk here is that 50 could be more of a negative signal than a, than a reassuring uh, signal that the, that the Fed's on the case. But yeah, it's a, it's a tough call either way.